Okay, so um, yeah, this is the lounge. Um, you know where you know you need a little lounge if you can afford it, extra room. Have a little lounge so the people can feel comfortable. Your clients, your friends, your group, your your artists will feel comfortable. And this way, you can do some work. You can have a booth, and you know you can be working while they're hanging out, waiting for their turn, or just you know entourage or friends hanging out, watching TV, hanging out. This is a 10 by 10 room. You know, couch here, TV over there. You know, it's a little, it's not super big, but 10 by 10 is nice. I mean, people have their bedrooms at 10 by 10, so it's gonna be nice. Uh, yeah, huh? the motherfucking Drop that shit, Steve Sola. Huh? What? Huh? What? Yeah. Now. we're up. used to that. You know how we do it. Stay up. Uh -huh. Steve Dola. Designated wave roller. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Steve Solo. Steve Solo. Check it out. Steve Solo, you're a fool for this one, man. Plain Truth, Steve Solo. What's up? We're here again at Plain Truth Entertainment, New York City Recording Studio. Steve Solo, a.k.a. The Mix King. Like we said before, now it's two and a half years later. The studio is finally not 100%, but it's 95% built. We've been doing a lot of sessions, you know. It's not a coincidence. I wore the same shirt before and after, themixking.com. We also have another plaintruthentertainment.com, stesola.com. Um, and, you know, just Google my name, Steve Solo. You'll see a lot of stuff. Uh, two and a half years ago, we took the same picture right here to show you how it was before and how, you know, what kind of work we did. A lot of people came through the studio from, you know, Mob D, uh, Styles P, Royster 59, on and on. You could just Google it and you could see a lot of stuff that we've done right here at the studio. I'm looking at the pictures right now to remind to remind me. Hey, take a look. O'Neal McKnight, Infamous Mob, Big Noid, uh, oh, my, my, you know, my girl Aubrey O'Day, from Danny Kane and so forth. Okay, I'm going to show you, uh, you saw how the lounge used to look. Now, you know, it's a little bit more comfortable. We even have some speakers that are hooked up to the Pro Tools. A lot of studios don't do that. So when the artists are chilling on the couch, uh, you know, drinking some coffee, uh, whatever, heating up some stuff, we can play the Pro Tools over there. I could actually be recording vocals and the producer could be hanging out you know, on a couch with his girl or something, listening to how, you know, what's going on. So it's real convenient and real nice. So I'm going to show you how we change. I'm going to drink some coffee too while we're talking. I'm going to show you how, how the studio has changed from before. It used to look like an office. Now it looks, you know, a little bit more like a recording studio, real recording studio. we got great equipment. I mean, the heart of it is uh, the preamp, like $4,500 focus right. The microphone is a U87, which a lot of people recorded on. This particular mic was, was used by a lot of people from, from Ron Isley to Mom Deep to 50 Cent. A lot of artists recorded with this microphone, not only here at this studio, but at other studios. You know, uh, all over New York, all over, all over America. The booth sounds real good. And these are some of the CDs that we've done. You know, a lot of that stuff was done here. You know, some of it has not been done here. So less uh, in the back of me, you got like part of my platinum collection that mom deep that one is a, a rock a rock project hard rock project classical that that right now is three million is a triple platinum plaque doing a lot of work Nicole Ray Mrs. Elliot, 
But yeah, we got Eminem worldwide. That's the only one I have that's worldwide. You know, it's the gold, platinum, and double platinum in 10 countries. It's platinum in America, and then it's uh, all over the world that's been bought. So I'm real blessed to be part of that. Uh, I mixed three joints, three records on that album. Shout out to Alchemist, one of the great hip hop producers. Yeah, man. So we got my first plaque. I want to show you my first plaque, Jodeci. You know, altogether I got 22 plaques, but this is one of my favorite because it's my first one. If you all remember Jodeci. Then we got we got Biggie, of course. I had a great time working working with Diddy and working in the room that Biggie used to, you know, hang out and smoke in and stuff like that. I even uh, I even lit up. I bought some some weed and lit it up in the ashtray, and I was burning it like incense because uh, it was his room and I was mixing his record. And in the back there was uh, a larger than life poster of Biggie, and he was like looking at me. I was like, you know, make sure you mix it right. So I was like, all right, Big. I was like, yeah, no <laughs> doubt. So I was like burning burning weed incense in the ashtray. So that was. That was a memory in my head. It was real, real incredible, incredible feeling. Another couple more plaques. You know, I never directly worked with Jay Z, but I guess I did on this album. In a roundabout way, DJ Clue's album, I went gold. And good inspiration for everybody that walks in the booth. You know, Double Platinum Nas album. I did four songs on that album, including, uh, you know, the big single, Street Dreams. Nas is one of my favorite, you know, one of my favorite rappers. You know, along, you know, Mob Deep, of course, Jay Z, Eminem, Jadakiss, Biggie, Tupac, of course. You know, those are some of the ones, you know, obviously, Prodigy and, you know, Havoc. But I got, I mean, I got a lot of favorites, uh, the new ones. I, I like I like a lot of the good ones. If they if they really sit down and, and they work on their lyrics, I, I like them. You know, all the Lil Wayne, uh, T.I., Ludacris, you know, Young Jeezy. I mean, all the ones that really sit down with the pen and they're real rappers and, you know, I mean, they're all they're all real. I like I like them all. Even if it's a fun song, I like it. But if it's longevity, if it's a fun song, you know what? Six months from now, everybody's gonna forget that. But if it's real writing, it's gonna stay ten years later. So I'm glad to be part of a, a lot of these great albums. Uh, what else can I show you? Uh, some more some more stuff over here. More preamps. When I'm mixing, I go back. We got the Apogees, uh, HD converters, which are the best, you know, the best in the business. Uh, you know, when I'm when I'm doing a beat, uh, I did. I wrote I wrote a song "Struggle No More" for Tyler Perry movie. I was blessed to have the lead single of the you know of the movie, the soundtrack, and and whatnot. So you know, we do it on here. We got all this other stuff. We got a lot of virtual virtual instruments. I mean, we got like. Fifteen, twenty thousand dollars worth of virtual uh, plugins and instruments and all kinds of cool stuff. But all this stuff is tools. What we need is good ears, good music, you know, which which you guys bring in the good art and good songs and good stuff. We could do something. All this stuff is just tools. We just make and use these tools to the best of our knowledge. And I'm going to leave you with one more final thing which is experience. A professional is someone that knows what not to do. So you, you could do a lot of shit, but if you, at the end, you, you mess it up, at the end, you do something wrong, then the project is gonna sound like not good. So a professional is somebody that knows what not to do. Peace out, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this little thing. Um, between all this other stuff, we're going to show you how we built, you know, 
mass loaded vinyl, the glues we use, green glue, we use like five different glues to hold stuff together. We built the door. Uh, there's a lot of things that, I mean, this vinyl holds more sound in. It isolates sound more than a, a two by four wall and it's thin, but it's very heavy. So it was fun and we, we did a lot of stuff uh, to ensure that sound stays in. And this is our front door when you come in or leave. Plain Truth Publishing. Shout out to my whole team. The Marvelous, Al, J3, Les, JC. Uh, we got a whole bunch of others that, those are the main, main people. But we got six, you know, six more. We got a bunch of artists. Please visit PlainTruthENT.com and you'll see a lot of stuff. Peace out.